Jenny, and I'm here at Otter Baptist Church tonight where we are fixing to start our very last training session for the Run for God Bible Study. We have been participating in this study for the last 11 weeks, and we are finally to the end. Saturday, we'll be going over to Prater's Mill to do a 5K, and uh, this is a Bible study that is known nationally by churches. It, uh, it promotes spiritual growth and physical growth at the same time. So come on in and join us as we get ready to start our last training session. Let's go. Kim and Maury Smith, I wanted to talk with them and find out exactly why we did Run For God and, and tell us a little bit about it. What is Run For God? Run For God, when we found it, and I started looking into it, there was a guy in Dalton that actually uh, was a runner. And he's in his story, it's in the book where he's, he starts running, not hurting anybody, running with his family, or he runs, doesn't, goes to church, does all this, but he's getting more and more into it. But one uh, one day he's talking to one of the deacons, and the deacon just come out and told me, he said, is that going to turn into a idol when you're gone? And he says, he sort of kicked me off. He says, I'm not doing nothing wrong, I'm just running, getting better, getting better health. So he said he got to thinking about it, so he decided he would start a Bible study when I forgot. He talked to the pastor, and the pastor said, that's a good idea. So he got people signed up, and he went to life for it. At that time, he found out there wasn't any Bible study like that. So that's when he had to write it to facilitate the uh, fact that he'd already started people signing up, and that's how it started. Okay, okay. So we have been doing this here at Outer Baptist, but it's not just been a church thing. We've had several from outside of our church who have come in, um, community people, even different denominations that have participated in it. So tell me, how many, kind of give me the numbers of, of how we've done here. When we started out, most we had, I think it was on the first night, we had 121. It was here on Monday, that first Monday night. And we averaged about 70 to 80 for the rest of the week. That next Monday night, we had, uh, that was our biggest, we had 128 people here. We've got 144 that are signed release forms. We've uh, averaged, on the, I would think, 60 to 70 every time. That's a lot. 70 people who have committed to going to do this race and do it. We got tonight, we got Saturday morning, and next week we'll be two weeks like we do all Everybody has my friend will get started. What well, we come to you tonight, we thank you so we thank you everything you've done for us. Thank you for all the people gave up their time to do this. Uh, please be with us as we do our training. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. I'll
you doing this? Uh, I chose to do this with my family. It started out as me and my husband just doing something together and trying to get healthier. And then my kids wanted to get involved, so we're doing it all as a family. All right, and how many children do you have? Uh, I have two, and two that's involved in this, and then one that has a boyfriend. She's doing, he's doing it with us. So this will kind of be a test for him, don't you think? Oh yeah, big test. <laughs> All right. Well, we are glad that you guys could join us. So I hope you do good Saturday. Big <laughs> man. Y'all ready for Saturday? Yes, ma'am. Sure are. All right. Are you? It's going to be nice. Think so? Right. Yes. All right. Are you ready, Kim? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The only thing I got to grab. Okay. The category I'm in is 60 to oh, uh, wherever, however old you are. Uh, Man, you could have whooped the 80 year olds, couldn't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if they'd have grouped them 80 yeah. and up. <laughs> yeah, I'd have, I'd have come in. All right, I'm here with Miss Imogene Green. A lot of you know her from Otter. She's lived here all your life, right? And how long is that? Well, it's 85 and a half years. 85 and a half years. And why are you doing the Run for God? I just decided I could do it if anybody else could. <laughs> That's right, and she's kicking our tail too, guys. Um, <laughs> have you enjoyed doing this? I have, and I, I do better in every way since I started this. It just makes you feel better to get out and exercise, especially to have the fellowship with these nice people. Yes, yes. Well, thank you so much for doing this with me. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> Jenny and I'm back here with Andrea and Victoria. They have participated in Run for God for the last 11 weeks. So uh, I was going to ask them a few questions. So first I'll start with you. Why did you decide to do Run for God? Well, it kind of pushes you out of your comfort zone, something that you think you would never be able to do. And um, so I want to try something different. And the Bible study that goes along with it is kind of getting out of your comfort zone to do things for God, which yeah. a lot of us struggle with. Judge. And so, yeah. <laughs> totally. So that was why I started. Well, good, good, good. And why did you decide to do Run for God? Pretty much the same reasons, and I need to get healthy. Need so. to get healthy. So we have incorporated Bible study in with fitness and, and talking about not only our daily walk with the Lord, but um, our physical, our physical aspect of it. So is this something that you would have, have normally done? Or? Absolutely not. I was a couch potato. <laughs> really? Yeah. Have you enjoyed it? I have. Enjoyed it a lot. Right. The, everybody here is really nice. We encourage each other. It, I, I really enjoy it. Well, good, good. And do you think this is something that you will continue to do? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I love it. Well, good, good. All right. Well, that's all for now. Thank you guys so much for doing this, and we'll see you next week.
tonight at our fellowship meal. It is Friday before we're going to do the run at the meal on Saturday over in Dalton, Georgia. We have a wonderful spaghetti dinner provided for us and we are excited to get our bellies filled up. Some of these great uh, women from the community made some desserts and uh, can't wait to dig into those either. So stay tuned. We're going to talk with a few other folks. Are we going to be on the Food Network? <laughs> hey, brother, uh, I, I, learned, I learned everything I learned from Emerald and Gossip. <laughs> if you throw them at the wall and they stick, that means they're ready. We learned that one. And, and, and tell him that fancy word we learned to go with it. Al dente. Al dente. It's time to eat them.
uh, don't put pressure on yourself to achieve a really fast time for your first race. Finish the race and enjoy the experience or excellent goals for a first time. We're going to be running out and back, just like we're doing here. My advice to everybody is try to stay in pace, don't get caught up with everybody flying, and run your, run your own pace till you get to the turnaround. When you turn around, you're going to know what the, course, the rest of the course is like, so then you can use what you need to to reuse the rest of your energy. Whenever you come and you see the finish line, it's going to be on a flat spot. That's when, at that time, no matter about your race, don't run your own race. Go as hard as you can to get the best time you can. <laughs> <laughs> we changed we change the glass eggs, then we're out for blood. We're going after everybody. <laughs> I'm back and I'm here with uh, Chad and Bernie Slatton. They actually attend church here at Outer Baptist and they have participated in the Run for God program. So I just wanted to kind of see what made you want to do Run for God. My wife made me do it. <laughs> what made you want to do Run for God? <laughs> I want to do Run for God just to get healthier for our family and I thought it would be a good challenge for us. Well, good, good. Has it been a challenge? It's been, it has been a challenge and I have to say it was more for uh, the enjoyment of doing it and doing it with the group with, that we've done it with here at the church. Well, all right, all right. Now, have your, you have children, right? Yes. <laughs> like I don't know. <laughs> but has, has your girls enjoyed being able to come up here and do it with you? Oh, yes. They have loved being able to run with the group and being able to see how far they can get without getting tired, and they've had a blast with this. That is great. That is great. All right, and uh, Brother Deacon, from a, from a spiritual standpoint, how have you been able to relate your, your running out there, practicing for the 5K, along with your spiritual walk? Well, you have to realize that your run is, so many times is, is talked about throughout the Bible about running a race, and when you actually participate and you run a race, then you kind of understand where Paul was coming from when he was talking about it. And our spiritual walk is a race, and we have to do something honestly and earnestly every day in our walk with Christ, or we fall away. That's right, and it's not always easy. So, it's... No, it is not. <laughs> being, being true and faithful to God is not easy. No, no. All right, well, thank you guys so much for sitting down with me. I appreciate it. You're welcome. <laughs>
I like your informant. You're doing good. Good job, y'all. Go, Deborah! Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. We're standing here at the finish line uh, for Run for God 2020. cheering on these finishers as they cross. They started early, early this morning. 5K runners making their way back towards the finish line. This is where it gets fun, ladies and gentlemen. 5K runners, half marathon runners, 10K runners all finishing together. Here comes a couple of our half marathoners right here. More half marathoners and 5Kers coming in. Finishing the 5K, number 99. Look at this hand in hand finisher finishing the half marathon, Hans and Luz Navarrete. Way to go, Hans and Luz. Great finish. All right, with 34 minutes into the race, and we're over halfway back. So, We'll make it. We're going to make it. Come on, Andrew! It's a 5K. Woo! So fitting. Robert Richardson, Deb Stevens. Ernestina Gonzalez, draw 5K runners. James Jolly finishes hey. the 5K. Way to go, James. Now we had a girl doing cheers and jumps at the other end. I'm not jumping. Thank you. And all the sparkly on the road until you're walking on it. Dalton, way to go, Tiara. 
Bridget just passed along some good advice. It's mind over miles. Mind over miles, another great tip for the race. Ava Robs, wait a good minute. Scarlett Hannah, finishing the half. Mark yeah. King, Lauren Kunzberg, and David Kunzberg. How about Sandy Chatton and Debbie Hill? Wendy, at least I've had the view of Outer Baptist Church. Just about. Yeah, I don't <laughs> Yes, we need to. He probably did the 13 mile something. Oh. <laughs> he probably did. 13.1 miles on that marathon. Five days, this day. Great job. You look great, T-shirt. Making your way towards that with Cheryl Boydston. When life drags me down. Way to finish. It was written for this day and will be performed for the very first time, as well as all the awards and door prizes. Hey, congratulations, Donna Monroe, Alyssa Jolly, Sheila Gunter, Michael Volker, David Weiterly, Fred and Darren finishing the 10K, David finishing the 5K. How about Angel Angela Minefield finishing the half marathon along with Gail Coker? Ruth Bass finishing the 5K. Way to go, Ruth. Do y'all want to pass me? Come on. I'll move over. I was saying for us to run that last little part. Yeah. Do not walk. Yeah. So I'm setting up my energy. How about Ansley Byers? Brandy Joy Byers, Sydney Land, Ella Jenkins, Olga Salgado, Jeremy Newell, Brad Harris, Cindy Land finishing her, Allison Martin finishing the 10K, Lynn Bud and April Tabor finishing the 5K. Give me chills. I know. <laughs> Are you the one put the videos on? Yes. I love them. Thanks. I love them. I watch them. <laughs> You're the news correspondent. For Otter, yes. Yeah, for Otter. Yes. Look at all these finishers heading towards the finish line. Here comes Maddie Hanna, Kaylee Jolly, Tommy Lee, Monica Pope, Sandy Lemons, Bernie Slayton, and Stan Tidmore. Hitting that 5K. Michelle Blaylock, here comes Michelle. How about Julia Jolly? Come on, Julia. Hillary Richmond finishing the 10K. Way to go, Hillary. Tanya Jones, come on, Tanya. Number 197, 157. Judy Pike finishes her 5K. Look at Lisa Beckett finishing her half. Oh, look. I come back to come back to cheer zone. Woo! Good job, Here we go. Thank you, Mari. There you go. Thanks. Good job. How'd you come in? Doing good. Good. Hey, I'm glad you've hung with me and I've hung with you. Absolutely right. Woo. I love y'all. All right, thank you.
Here we go. Yeah, get up. together. So you've been friends for how long? Well, I've been out of school for 40 years, so. I've been out 41, so. Yeah, so we've been, what, 10th grade? So about, about 43, 44 years, something like that. All right, all right. So tell me, why did you want to do the Run for God? Because I love the Lord. <laughs> That's a great reason. And why did you do it? Because it's better than running from God. Oh, oh, there was, she's, she's smooth. <laughs> running for God is better than running. For, so how did it feel today when you crossed the finish line? I crossed the finish line with the love of my life, and it was very special, and I'm so glad we made it. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's good. And how did you feel when you crossed? Miracles still happen. <laughs> and my honey was sitting in the shade. <laughs> hey, that, it was waiting on you. Now, we, we, we walked and talked quite a bit together on the trail, so uh, that was that was pretty fun. It was beautiful out there, though, wasn't it? It was. It was, it was hot. Yes. It was very hot, but it was good. Yes. All right. Well, thank you, guys. Give me a big smile. I love you. Yeah. Your beautiful. <laughs> and I love y'all too. <laughs> All right. Coach Brent Tinker here and Mari Smith, both number one in their division. How did it feel crossing the finish line? Very tired. <laughs> what, what time did you have? 20.56. 20.56. 3one miles in 20 minutes and 56 seconds. And what was your time? I think it was 23.48. 2348. All right. Have you? I know you're athletic. You've been athletic all your life. But have you learned anything from doing Run for God? Uh, debut and finale. <laughs> <laughs> Sister 
long, but um, how did you come in today? Good, I hope. <laughs> Good, you hope. I didn't see the time. I was just glad to go across the finish. Was this your first 5K? Yes. Yes. Probably my last. <laughs> no, no. How did it feel when you crossed the finish line? Oh, it was great. Good, good feeling of accomplishment. Good, good. All right. Well, thank you so much. Well, thank you. <laughs> hey, we're down here at the dam, uh, just outside the mill. We have finished our 5K. Uh, what a reward it was running across that finish line. For the last 12 weeks, we have trained. Has it been easy? No. But is anything that you set your heart to easy? No. But it is worth the race that you run, and it is worth it when you finish, and you feel that sense of accomplishment. So whatever it is that you could be struggling with, put that best foot forward, and uh, just go for it. I never thought that I would shave off any time off of a 5K, but since I'm doing this, I feel better, and uh, our group has come closer together, and I look forward to doing more. So I hope you have enjoyed this journey with Outer Baptist Church and our community of uh, following us with the Run for God. And um, I'm sure you can check out runforgod.com for any other information if you might be interested in doing it. Thanks again.